We need to uh, grow during this crisis because people are coming to us and flocking in greater and greater numbers. It's just the per capita, the support's not there. Uh, I mean, we we have to expand during this crisis. It is so important. Uh, you want to make any comments or anything, uh, Aaron? Or I just wanted to say that this this film is very important because you're not seeing anything else like it out there. I mean, I looked at the trailer this evening and it's excellent. It points out all the stuff that needs to be pointed out, and it's just the media is just a vacuous emptiness. There's no information out there on this. Well, more than that, and, I, and I'm not knocking the other researchers, but notice they the establishment went after Bill Clinton for Monica Lewinsky. And you know the cigar sex and, and and the stupid stuff he did. Why? Because the Republicans were all involved in the missile secrets to China too. They were involved in the money laundering and and and, and the drug dealers and uh, all of the corruption. So they couldn't go after Clinton and and Ken the Star couldn't go after Clinton for anything but an isolated individual issue. That's why a politician they want to burn. They always go after him for having an, an illegal alien nanny or something. Because they they need to be compartmentalized and isolated to just that. <clears throat> and it's the uh, same thing with Obama. They go after him, oh, he's from Kenya, or oh, his birth certificate's fake. It still and, doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it matters to a certain degree, but it can't be proven one way or the other conclusively. But when you talk about youth brigades, FEMA camps, the fact that he does believe in total gun bans, that's what he calls reasonable, D.C. and Chicago total gun bans, the fact that they are setting these up, the fact that his chief of staff is calling for 1824 forced compulsory service, uh, the fact that they're using government money for PR TV ads that send him to Obama's private website to make his own private army. I mean, that's right out of Mao's book or Hitler or Stalin. I mean, they're, they're making a list, crossing every T, dotting every I in classical tyranny. And so this film gets into all the real issues, and, and, and the main threat is Wall Street and the banker looting and how they're setting up this world government banking system that, and, and, and the carbon tax that will be paid. That was particularly telling was the fact that he, he took his election movement and turned it into Obama 2.0, a mass movement. It's which is outside of the White House. Which is outside of the White House, outside of the whole political structure, period. It's a grass, grassroots quote-unquote movement. And so that's the thing. Imagine if there were filmmakers in... 1912, right before they set up the IRS and the income tax, same year. Well, they're setting up the global banking system publicly as the world government and the carbon tax to pay it and saying that. So this is 1913 2.0. This is their next jump. They've taken over nations with these central banks. Now they're taking over the world and linking it all up so, so no nation can resist. And so the states within the nations, they have NORTHCOM, and the John Warner Defense Authorization Act, and PD51 to lock those down. Anything else, Kurt? No, that's it. I mean, I mean, this is it, folks. This is real. Aaron, any comments? Yeah, I mean, the thing that's always struck me is how Obama was pushed even before he was elected to his first term as senator. How does a nobody like that rise to power? He has to be a puppet. There's no other way. Brzezinski. Of course, it's Brzezinski and all the Bilderbergers. So keep going. Just pull this back. This would be around. too close, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's mainly the point. It's just interesting to see how it all overlays. He was groomed. Well, see, we're researchers, so we know who Timothy Gethner is. We know who Brzezina Brzezinski is. Uh, we know who Richard Holbrook is. You know, we know who Hillary Clinton is. We know what they stand for. Globalists, New World Order, bankers looting us, regulators shutting down all the small businesses, farms, and ranches, uh, uh, attacking the family. We know. You know, Bush continued all that. They're just, ex I mean, my God, folks, look, the Obama deception. We're busting our butt in here making this film. Rob Jacobson, you got any comments? Uh, yeah, I just... Um I want to appeal to all the Obamanoid, Obama followers right now that are part of this like mass movement that's outside the political structure that's kind of just rising up following Obama. And I want to ask everybody who's watching this trailer and who hopefully watches the film when it comes out to disconnect from your personal feelings and the, your personal investment that you've put forward for the last, whatever, two years, one and a half years, and watch this objectively and see if these facts make sense and link up with the past administration. Watch as the war actually expands, even though he ran on an anti-war message, and watch as the economy continues to crash even further as he, you know, has this hope of saving the economy, and that's what he's coming but in. it's always vague. It's very vague. As he's look at the facts, it's accelerating. And, oh, and here's an absolute central point that I don't think I've really made. We know he's creating a government-forced service system, and we know they're creating a separate private group under him, and they're kind of greasing the skids, putting a golden light on it of, oh, it's feeding the homeless. 
But then you read the real program, it's spying on people, domestic brigades, you know, things like this, you know, work, work brigades. The key here is they know there's going to be a grassroots rebellion. They know the people are going to look for messianic leaders. They know the people are going to... So Obama is creating an army to fight the real resistance, a, 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 a counterfeit clone of a mass movement, that uh, a populist movement that's forming against them. So, so, so not only can he point at that and say, there's the people, there's my big giant uh, overblown on steroids... Um, focus group or auditorium group he can point at, or non-governmental organization. That's what the UN does, and the globalists have little pet groups they point to and say, oh, that's the people. It also, again, is going to be used to go out and, and get in everybody's face at other events that are anti-Obama agenda. Classic brown shirts. Classic brown shirts. And what I was going to say as well is, is the fact that Obama it's going to be impossible when things get really bad in the next six months, whenever, it's going to be impossible to go up against Obama because of the, of the whole race thing, that he's black. And I hate to say it like that, but it's true. It's going to be impossible to disagree with him. And that's what this Obama 2.0 movement's about. So it's, like, it's like a cloak of invincibility. Kind of when you're playing a video game and you get the special star or whatever, and for 30 seconds nothing can beat you, it's like... Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> and, and it's, it's genius on the part of the globalists to do it this way, you know, because get a black man in there, Get a uh, Obama 2.0 movement that's invincible, and well, that's the and thing. then Pat Robertson comes out and says he is invincible. He's a good guy. They're, they keep saying invincible, invincible. We are the Borg, Aaron. And only to, only a few months ago, it, it was Cheney. Seventy percent of Americans are against what you're doing, war wise, and on other issues. So what? And now all of a sudden, it's the triumph of democracy with Obama. Just like that, at the yeah. flash of a turn. But, but he's continuing the it's same agenda. Yeah. And, and what it's really telling is the theatrics during the inauguration, Cheney in a wheelchair, enfeebled. Bush being booed, you know? It was like this... Out with the old, in with the new, archetypal. Right. And suddenly, yes. suddenly, the day before the inauguration, and a few days before, CNN, Fox, all of them suddenly changed graphics. They suddenly changed looks. Everything changed. It, it was for a subconscious view of everything's changed. And now... They've got Obama's private PR group on big digital billboards, on TV ads, and it's joined the government in saving us. And you go to usaservice.org, it's a private group. I mean, this is, this is the, because the Federal Reserve is coming in and publicly nationalizing things. But it's private, so it's not real nationalization. It's forced privatization, corporate takeover at the barrel of a gun. I mean, this, this cult of leadership business is really scary to me. I mean... It's classic fascism, really, and, and, and Tarp was right about that. He really is. No, no, I mean, even the Washington Post two weeks ago, we got to pull that article if I sent it to you for the film, said, oh, he uses all the trappings of fascism and communism, a mass, I mean, of hardcore mass movements. The colors, the look, the... The I graphics. Mean, yeah, the graphics and, and the nomenclature and the buzzwords. Mike, anything? Um, I, I think you're right on. <laughs> well, anyways, we're making this film. We're busting our butt. This... They need the grassroots. That's why they're going after them. We are the grassroots, folks. You've got to beat them. You've got to smash them because they've got a tough road to go. They've got a tr tough sale even though they have all the power. This isn't going to be easy. And if we sit down and shut up, they're going to win. If we stand up and fight, they're going to lose. Anything else, guys? No, uh, I would say um, just remember, uh, again, just to remind everybody who might be part of this Obama movement to watch the way you guys behave. See what you guys ask. When has like. it turned out good in history when everybody starts worshiping somebody and gets behind them? And the exactly. establishment and the media and the big banks say he's God, they're all agreeing. You should uh, all wait. If you find yourselves doing sneaky things like ratting on people or sabotaging anti Obama sites, you should think about it and check yourselves and see is this really the way you want to behave? Are you part of some group mentality? You know, and I think that everybody should start becoming more self-aware of their own behavior and disconnecting their behavior, their emotions from, uh, you know, this uh, Messiah figure that's being sold to you. And remember about your own. Yeah, and, you I, know, and, and, and we need support. Don't forget, this is dangerous stuff we're doing, folks. Yeah, we're on the front line, so help us carry the ball. Yeah, I, I, I got to say that, uh, you know, thanks to everybody for supporting Infowars because the new studio. Hopefully, you'll see a. You know, quality difference also in the films when it comes to sound. You know, we've always been waiting for an enclosed uh, sound area to do these films, and now we got it. So hopefully there'll be a quality jump in the films as well as the studio, the show, the TV. Well, regardless, show. folks, we're in desperate times, and we're backing you. You need to back us. So please, bottom line, spread the word about the.
Bomba Deception at Infowars.com. Now, let's get back to work. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock here, and I want to get home before midnight so I can get a little bit of sleep for tomorrow, maybe even see my children for an hour. All right, we're here fighting. Support us. The trailer will be out in the morning.